Why would you make 51 different guides on how to farm any one Warframe, each being like 15 minutes long, when you can just make one video on all of them? Probably slightly more than 15 minutes, but regardless, there is so much to get through, so let's get started. Going in alphabetic order, we have... This guy used to be so simple, just kill Mannix, but no. This farm has changed so much in the last couple of months, let's just hope this is still correct. The Neuroptix has the highest drop chance on Enkido Ice Strifts, the Chasis has the highest drop chance on Fenton's Field, and the System has the highest drop chance on Lockless Expands. These are of course all Railjack nodes, so if you have already cleared the Railjack star chart, this should only take on average about 2 hours. However, if you're one of those Railjack less Tenno, you will spend up to 30 hours. But hey, there's always the Prime variant. So expensive though. Note that the parts drop from rotation A, so leave the mission after 10 minutes if you haven't got the part yet. Atlas, the pink punts, or Atlas, as he's also known, main blueprint is acquired through the George's precept. His parts are then acquired through the George's golem arcwing assassination, which unlocks after completing the George's precept. You will need an arcwing and a half decent arc gun. We recommend using the velocities. If you already have these items, it shouldn't take more than an hour to farm Atlas. Banshee. Her main blueprint is acquired from the market and her parts are all found within the Tenno lab of the dojo. Baruch. He is extremely powerful, but if you want him, you gotta work for it. Then again, his prime is coming out in, well, very soon. At least within the next two months, probably. And you should just wait for that and buy it for 40 platinum. If you are, however, dead set on getting him right now, you will need to get to level 5 with Vox Solaris. And then you'll have to get to level 3 with Solaris United. You have several options for leveling up Vox Solaris. You can do bounties, you can buy bonds and selling them back for standing, but we would recommend going down on Orb Valis with a resource booster and mine, as those gem sells for a lot standing. Then you will have to go to these locations and farm Toroids. You will need them to craft Baruch's parts, but you will also need them to level up with Solaris United. For the... I'm not even gonna try. You must go to a cave and find a hotspot in the upper valleys. Using bait is recommended. Trumison can be found in the Orb Valleys. It must be during cold weather and it has to be in a pond where there is a hotspot. You should already have the mining resources if you have been trading gems for standing with Vox Solaris. This farm will last for multiple days. Actual time spent will approach 15 hours if starting from zero. Hey, this is Mtexagon from the future. I've just been recording audio for 4 hours and I'm losing my mind. I'm about to go outside and just try and get back some sanity. But listen, you better subscribe. Caliban. Major spoilers for the new war in 3, 2, 1. Main blueprint can be purchased from the market and each of these parts is going to be available from the Nama bounties which are, will be available on Cetus in the day and when it is night on Cetus it will be available on Fortuna. The Nama bounties rotates between three different options. One has his Neuroptics, one has his Chassis and one has the System. You will also need a lot of Nama Isoplast so get ready to grind some Nama bounties. You will also need some anomaly shards which are acquired by completing anomalies in the Veil Proxima. Finally, you will need some Trallock which is a common fish found on the plains of Eidolon in salt water as well as a mortis which spawns in ponds. Both fish is available at all times of day and night. This farm will take at least 6 hours. Chroma his main blueprint is acquired by completing the new Strange quest and his parts are unlocked simply by completing the star chart. His part requires the parts of other Warframes which are all unlocked on the star chart as well. These are Ember, Frost, Seren. Refer to their farming guides for more detail. Ember. Her main blueprint can be purchased from the market for credits and her parts all drops from General Sarkis Rock on Saturn. Expect this farm to take about half an hour. Excalibur. His main blueprint can be acquired from the market with credits. All of his parts drops from Lieutenant Lake Krill on Mars. This farm will take about half an hour to 45 minutes. Frost. The main blueprint is acquired from the market and all of his parts are acquired through the combined boss fight of Lake Krill and Captain Vo. This fight will take about 45 minutes to an hour. Gara. 
Her main blueprint is rewarded upon completing Desire's Vigil quest and her parts are rewarded from various different Cetus bounties. You will also need a few Cetus specific items, most of which you will acquire simply by running around and smashing stuff on the plains of Eidolon. You will unfortunately require two Cetus wisps. These can either be rewarded through bounties or by running around the edges of water on the plains of Eidolon at night where they can occasionally spawn. Expect this farm to take between 2 and 3 hours. Garuda. The main blueprint will be rewarded after completing the Vox Solaris quest and her parts are rewarded from doing various different bounties on Fortuna. You will also need to go and farm some toroids in these locations and you will also need to go and mine on the Orbalis, but at least you don't need to go and collect any servofish. This farm should take just about 2 to 4 hours. Gauss. The main blueprint is purchased from the market and each part has an 8% chance to drop from the C rotation on Kappa on Sedna. Note that this is a disruption mission, so after the second round, we will be able to get a C reward every time. This farm would take between 2 and 7 hours depending upon your skill and gear. Grendel the main blueprint is as always acquired from the market. In order to unlock the nodes on which Grendel's parts can be found, the player will need to go and play Arbitration. Why does it say the player? You have to go and play Arbitration to acquire 25 Virtue Essence for each locator. The locator will unlock a unique mission in which you will not be able to use your gear or your mods or the elemental bonuses on your weapons. For each of these missions, you are however guaranteed to get at least one of Grendel's parts. Gaia. The main blueprint as well as the blueprints for each of her parts are acquired through the whole fast bounties which are located on the Saruman. You will also require some void plume quills needed to craft a system. Other unique resources such as Frax Plasm and Void Gel will also drop in these bounties. Entranty Lanterns will also drop but you might want to default to the self-destruct strat if you end up missing a lot of them. Harrow! Oh boy, here we go. The main blueprint is rewarded from the Chain of Harrow's quest, so, you know, that's easy enough. The Chassis is rewarded from enemies corrupted by fishes, so that's not that difficult either. But then the Neuroptics will drop from Rotation A, Spy Missions on the Kuva Fortress. And the System, the Guard Forsaken System, will drop from Rotation B and C on Defection. At least you have a 21% chance of getting it after getting 4 rewards in defection. Good luck. Hildren. Here is another victim of the open worlds. The main blueprint can be bought from Solaris United after reaching rank 5. And just a quick reminder, before you can even start leveling Solaris United, you need to be max ranked with Vox Solaris. Jesus. The parts are acquired from the Exploiter Orb, which can only be fought if the player has distilled Fermia, which is only available from Operation Buried Depths. By the time you're watching this, it could be another month before we have some Thermal Fractures again. The Lazulite Toroids required means that you'll have to do this at least 6 times. Expect to use at least 10 hours in this. But then again, Hildren does have the best subsumability in the game, so it might be worth it. Hydroid. If you for some reason want this Warframe, the main blueprint can be acquired from the market and each of his parts drop from Counselor Vey Heck on Oro on Earth. Why are these fools still breathing my air? Expect this to take one hour. This is unacceptable! Inaris. Both the main blueprint and the parts are rewarded from the Sands of Inaris quest. Huh, that was easy. Expect this to take 45 minutes. Ivara. The main blueprint and her parts are all spread out across multiple different spy missions. The fastest method of farming Ivara is to do these Railjack spy missions. Expect this to take 4 to 5 hours. Cora. Her main blueprint and her parts will all drop from Sanctuary Onslaught and not from Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. Expect this to take 5 to 6 hours. Lavos. 
All of his parts and his blueprint as well is available through Father on Deimos and will only cost you 20,000 standing. You do need to be level 3 with the Entranti family so expect to spend 2 hours on this. Though of course you will have to wait out the standing cap as well and um, you'll need to do some mining in the Cambian Drift. Limbo. Oh great. All I can think about now is it's Ringo. Anyways, the main blueprint is acquired through the market and the parts are simply obtained through the Limbo Theorem quest. Easy as pie. This will take about one hour in active farming and a few days to craft each part. Loki. The main blueprint is acquired through the market and the parts drop from the hyena pack on his mate? I don't know. What are these names? How could you possibly do this to me? Anyways, it's on Neptune and it will take about 20 to 30 minutes to farm. Mac. Her main blueprint is acquired from the market and her components will drop from the sergeant on Phobos. Phobos? Phobos. Phobos, for God's sake. 15 to 20 minutes to farm. Mesa. Her main blueprint is, say it with me, acquired from the market for credits. They all are, by the way. Each of her parts will drop from Mutalisk Alad V, but, and that is a big but, you will need to first complete the Patient Zero quest and then farm Mutalisk Alad V Nav Waternet to build a Mutalisk Alad V Assassination Key. It will be rewarded sometimes from invasion missions to keep your eyes peeled. Note that 4 players can share one key. Expect to spend 3 to 4 hours on this over many days. Maraz. The main blueprint is in La Market and the components are just awarded after completing her quest, which is not a tough quest either, about one hour. Necros. Get the main blueprint from the market you will, and the part from the Lafantis on Damus you will. About 40 minutes it will take. This message was, was apparently brought to you by Yoda and my decaying sanity. Nisha. It's all within the Tenno lab, within your dojo baby, no farming required. Nitus. Main blueprint. Where is it? Can't find it. Oh, there it is. It is rewarded from the Glass Gambit quest and all the parts are rewarded from... I'm sorry, Infested Salvage Rotation C. And they only have a 14% chance of being rewarded. So, um, that's 4 to 6 hours. Good luck. Nova. Okay, you know what? If I don't mention it, it's in the market. The parts are dropped by the Raptors on Europa. This will take about 30 minutes. Nyx. Her parts drop from assassination missions that is currently under invasion from the infested. When it is available, they should take no longer than 5 minutes to farm. Oberon. The parts no longer... Okay, stop. This is some hexagon from the future. I've been testing this for the better half of an hour now and I cannot get a derelict to spawn anywhere. So I think you'll just basically sit out of luck. So yeah, go ahead and get the prime. And by the time the prime is expensive again, this will hopefully have been fixed. But I guess right now you just can't farm Oberon. Also though, if you guys have any idea why this might be happening, please let me know down in the comments. Octavia. This one is one giant pain to farm. The blueprint is rewarded from Octavia's Anthem, but here we go. The chassis is guaranteed from the music puzzle on Lua. The system has a 22% chance to be contained in a special locker in Lua Exterminate missions. And then we have the Neuroptics, which will drop from Mutation C of Survival on Deimos. This will take 4 to 6 hours. Protea. So the main blueprint is acquired from the Deadlock Protocol quest. The parts are rewarded from the Granum Voids. When on a corpus ship, a treasurer, treasurer, uh, treasurer, a coin boy will spawn with a Granum coin, kill the coin boy, and then take the coin to one of the golden hands. You have to do this for each tier. Here is the missions optimal for this farm. This should take no longer than 4 hours. Revenant. The blueprint is rewarded after completing the mask of the Revenant. 
and the parts are then acquired through the bounties on Cetus. The sentient cores will drop from the Vombalist at night on the plains of Eidolon or from the sentients on Lua, mainly conjunction survival. The Cetus Wisp is available from the Quills or from aforementioned bounties or from walking around the edges of the water on the plains of Eidolon and also the spawns are doubled at night. Rhino So his parts will drop from the Jackal on Phobos on Venus. If you're new to the game, go ahead and grab Rhino. He is so good early on and will take only 30 to 50 minutes to farm. Saren Her parts will drop from Kayla the Fane on Marrow on Sedna. You will also need to go ahead and grind those arenas on Sedna to get a high enough rank to fight Kayla. With having to farm the arenas as well, this will take 2 hours. Sevagoth You are not gonna like this. The main blueprint is rewarded after completing the Call of the Tempest Starry, but his parts are rewarded from Void Storms, and no one are playing those, so you're on your own. With that being said, yes, this will take 3 to 5 hours, but you'll also get a crap load of Prime parts, so that's nice. Dianix. All of his parts and blueprint is available from Chipper. Just make sure to do Carl's Garrison every week and you will be fine. This will take upwards of 3 hours as you learn the different Carl missions. Hey, so it's some Texagon from the future again. I just realized that you might be wondering who Chipper is. And if you're interested in the story, just keep playing the main storyline. But otherwise, 3, 2, 1. Chipper is an NPC that you meet in Carl's Garrison, which unlocks after you complete the new war quest. Trinity. Her parts are rewarded from Ambulus on Pluto, which is a forcefully very slow boss fight to expect to spend upwards of 2 hours here. Valkyrie. Her part is rewarded from the regular Alad V on Jupiter. This should take no longer than 30 minutes. I wish this <laughs> would take just 30 minutes. I've been recording for 3 hours. How do I only have 15 minutes? How is that even possible? Valben. These parts are always available from the Nightwave, and assuming that you haven't already spent it, the first tier should give you enough credits for him right away. Volt. So, you didn't pick Volt as your starter frame. No problem, just go and grab him from the dojo. Varuna. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Our most recent Warframe can be farmed in the new game mode Conjunction Survival and remember, she has a higher drop chance on Circulus. Furthermore, you can buy her parts with Lua Frax Plasm, also rewarded from Conjunction Survival from Yanta on the Saruman. Wisp Her parts will drop from the Ropa Low list on Jupiter. This is a longer fight, but it can still be done in an hour and a half. Wukong Another dojo frame. Is that cool? His main blueprint is rewarded after the Heart of Demos quest is completed and his parts can be found in the bounties of the Necrolesque. You will also need some basic Demos resources so make sure to smash everything while doing these bounties. And you will have to do some mining both on Demos and Venus. Furthermore, you will need to do some fishing in the caves of Demos and the oceans of the plains of Eidolon. Yeah really? You can't. It's impossible. Fine. Her blueprint is awarded after undertaking the God Awful Wave Rider quest, and her parts are available from the Venkids Bass Lab in the dojo. And I hope you like Kate Drive. Zatha! Yet another Warframe available in the Tenno Lab. Titania. Now, the easy answer is to simply say, go and do the Silver Groove quest. That will reward you with the blueprint and part. But I do know that this quest is not just a go and do it kind of quest. So, I've left a link to a useful guide down in the description. So, now that I'm done with this, you guys can go ahead and farm the frames that you want. And this will be on there forever and ever. I'll never have to, have to update it because DE is never going to release another frame. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.